Hey guys, I'm Denny Chapman. I'm super excited because I just got my brand new uh, tonneau cover from Wadro. I'm going to install it on my truck. Here we go. All right, so the first thing I noticed when I opened the package was it's really packaged up very nicely. I've actually started taking some of the padding out, but um, they took a lot of care to make sure that this was packaged appropriately so that it wouldn't be damaged in shipping. So that's a big plus. All right, so here it is. I've got it out of the package. I've uh, got it on the tailgate of my truck. I'm super excited. I've always wanted and have never had in my whole life a hard bed cover, a hard tonneau cover, and uh, just really super excited. By the way, when I was talking about how well it was packaged and shipping, I do want to mention that shipping was really super quick for this bed cover as well. So I'm going to take a quick look at the installation instructions, and we'll get started. So when I first opened the assembly instructions, this pamphlet popped out, and this is a uh, customer support pamphlet with a uh, phone number and online support, which is really cool. And another great surprise is this uh, does not require a bunch of tools to put together. The assembly instructions are very easy to read. Um, these have integral uh, clamps. Uh, so yeah. Yeah. Super excited that I don't have to pull out a bunch of tools to put this together as well. So I was mentioning how easy this was to put together without tools. Like here's one of the integral uh, tightening devices, clamping devices. It's actually built into the cover, which is really awesome. Just wanted to point that out. Another thing we'll get to later is these LED lights that are integral to the unit. They're already installed. They're already good to go, which is really cool. This will be folded down uh, on the back end so that when you turn the lights on, it will shed light down into the bed. But anyway, the first step is to lay this weather strip down, and that's what I'm doing first. All right, so um, as I was getting ready to do step one, I just decided to go ahead and lay the cover on first so that I could kind of look and see where my gap was and that gap right there is exactly where this weather stripping is going to go so that helped me determine exactly where to place that right there i would also like to add that it does live up to its uh strength it says it'll hold up to 400 pounds i believe 400 and here i am standing on it as i'm getting my camera in position so that i can just document uh, this installation process from up top here All right, so next up is the weather stripping. Really super strong adhesive. Peel this off, lay it down. I know just where to lay it. And then when I get to the end, I'll just cut off the extra stuff that I don't need. Get to right about there. there we go. Man, this is nice weather stripping. Very nice. All right. It's super thick. It's like almost an inch thick. Cool. I like it. All right. Now I've got my weather stripping on. The next step is to lay the cover assembly on the front uh, rail, unfold it, and carefully refold it back up, which I've done. And step five is to start clamping her down. So pull down the front clamp to a vertical position, 
like I said, it's got an integral knob, which is really cool. Doesn't require extra tools. And that's on the inside there. So that's what I'm going to do next. So with this clamp, you might be, it, it starts out up here. And when you try to fold it down, you might be like, oh no, I ordered the wrong one. Well, you can drag it out so that we'll hang vertical and you, you will be able to adjust it and tighten it up. So don't worry about that. Just make sure you pull it out this way so that it hangs down vertical. And then you're gonna clamp it up there and you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So nice not to have to have a bunch of tools to put this cover on. I love it. All right, got them both on. Got that one on. Got that one on. Next step. All right, we completed step five. We're moving to step six with the safety clamps. All right, I got the safety strap installed. I've taken up the slack. And that's what it looks like. And next up, we're going on to step number seven. We'll flip the page in the manual here. And it looks like we are going to unfold the um, cover all the way. And we're going to secure the center and rear clamps. Like so. So I just want to show you guys what the uh, center clamps look like. They come out like so. And... This is kind of upside down, but this grips the lip here, underneath here, grips that, and then puts tension on. And of course, you adjust it just by screwing on or screwing off. I'll show you what it looks like from underneath. All right, so this is what it looks like from underneath. And just like the clamp up front, this one slides back and forth. All right, so we're getting ready for the last step, which is to fold this over and adjust these the same way we adjusted those in the center. So we're just gonna fold this back. I'm so excited. Look how pretty that thing looks. I'm so excited. We're gonna adjust these uh, last safety latches here. And uh, then we'll see what she looks like. All right, so I'm just fine tuning this last latch. Uh, it's pretty good, but it's not tight enough for me. See how it wiggles a little bit? And the cool thing about this is to adjust it, you simply turn it another rev revolution. And then that adds a little extra tension. And that looks pretty good. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. All right, we did it, we're done. And the funny thing was, the only thing I used out of my toolbox was this pair of scissors <laughs> just to cut the extra little piece of weather stripping that I didn't need. But man, that looks really good. That looks so good. Looks really nice. Now it's supposed to hold quite a bit of weight. I'm gonna put this camera on the tripod and I'm just gonna climb on top of it. I weigh uh, right about 200 pounds. So let's see if it holds me. All right, here we are, guys. All 200 pounds of me on top of my Oedra Tonneau bed cover. I'm so excited to have this product. I've always wanted a secure hard cover uh, for my truck. And uh, this thing rocks. As always, we're going to have a link in the description so you can check it out and get yourself one of these awesome Tonneau bed covers. Thanks for watching.